Traumatic Report, we have the amazing Gary Richard Arnold. Probably knows more, um, you know, I have him right up there with some of the top people I've ever met in my life. Knowing more about the deep state, which is very evident now in the hearing just today with uh, Adam Schiff, and I've changed the last two letters of his name from FF to TT, because that's what he's full of. Nancy Palauzzi, who back in March kind of swore that she wanted to have bipartisan support as they proceeded with even an investigation to start a impeachment. At the moment the man, Donald Trump, got elected, they started impeachment hearings with Russia Gate and other gates. Now they got Ukraine Gate. Uh, these people are clinically insane, and actually they are so incompetent. When I hear the comments, after I listen to Levine, who is a geopolitical genius on constitutional law, and he went into his typical, uh, you know, I've got Hebrew and Jewish blood. He went into a Hebrew and Jewish rant, which is I find really funny and informative about how funny this is of these people, these two State Department officials trying to think that they invented State Department uh, law, attitude and law or policy, when in fact it originates with the executive branch and the president. I mean, these people have an attitude of they don't like the fact that they're not the president. It's like, excuse me. They need to shut up and do their job and otherwise be fired and go off and retire or do something else, maybe flip fam hamburgers in a, in a joint or write books that maybe nobody wants to read. Uh, it's mind-boggling that Adam Schiff and the, 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 the people are still hiding this guy, which, by the way, a few weeks ago you exposed C.R. Kamala, who is actually this so-called deep state agent working for Clapper, J uh, Brennan, uh, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton and all the other maniacs from the demon uh, uh, left. Uh, it's mind-boggling. We have the demon right, too, by the way. People like, uh, you know, uh, a lot of these people you reviewed just last uh, on Tuesday. We went over a whole list of demon rat uh, counterparts of the right called the GOP. I called them Republic Raps. Do you like that, Republic Rap? Uh, yeah, they're, they're 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 the same animal, you know. They're just they, they, they have they different skin legs, color. But, uh, they, yeah, they they, they have know, different shaped claws of an ant, and different uh, shape. Uh, the head of an elephant at the other. Yeah, exactly. They're a different beast, but they're still a beast. How's that? Yeah. Uh, so I'd like you to go through what what do you want to talk about today? Let's start because we got so much to cover, and so much. It's I almost to be honest with you, I'm converting most of my shows into comedy routines because some of the stuff is so over the top. Uh, for example, the the demon rats pushing infanticide and even ALC saying you have to start eating people and babies, that even first trimester abortionists to work on every day in abortuaries wouldn't do a third trimester, but the demon rats want to have not only late-term abortions, but infanticide and eating people. I mean, this is like a movie, like a, a miniseries, like The Day of the Living Dead. It's like, uh, duh. I have to put on my take my TV anti nauseans to turn on even Fox News. It's disgusting. This is not even well, humane. You know, this, is, this is what the witch doctors did when they first came out of the caves. And that, that scene in, uh, what was it, 2001 or whatever it was, uh, you know, Space. with the apes, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, you yeah, know yeah, pounding yeah. On, on drums and, and killing. I mean, this, these rituals by witch doctors of killing your children as a ritual comes from that satanic... Uh, bad side of man. I mean, we're all good and bad, well, unfortunately. It, 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 I, you know, it's I, actually not man. Let me explain, okay? I call them people of clay and iron. This is my ministry. It's called clayandiron.com. Man, by his very nature, is a good being, and he is indwelt by the spirit of the creator God, who so does right. This is Adam and Eve before they fell. The nature of good is to do God and add an extra O. Now, when you empty yourself of goodness... You decide for yourself with your ego, which is the start of all evil, starts with ego. The most egotistical, narcissistic being in the universe is Lucifer, the most intelligent created being in the universe, but he's narcissistic and he's suicidal because he's going to die, and he will be. Even after billions or trillions of years, he's going to be annihilated real soon. People don't know this, do they? And he's a transgalactic menace to not only the human race, but probably beings across a very wide cosmos. What people need to understand Evil doesn't originate in human beings. Evil is transdimensional and exoplanetary. It's all through the Bible. It's through the book Bhagavad Gita, the Upanishads, the Book of the Dead, the Urantia book. Every ancient book from every shaman on earth deals with these beings from other worlds and other transdimensional places that indwelt an avatar of the human cortex and mind 
to create evil. Evil is not originating in the human nature. It's not our nature to be evil. We are indwelt and allow evil to enter us like a bacterial or viral pathogen. These are what I call thought pathogens. Think of it as a thought pathogen. A well, I, I, I actually blame God for some of this. In, in, in what no, Jesus you don't blame Christ God. Let me, let me explain. Us, what Jesus Christ gave us <clears throat> in the Our Father is deliver us from evil. You know, don't you know, lead us into temptation. He gave yeah. us the choice. No, no, um, yeah, it means, and, and it, it is our choice. In, in yeah, which no, no. Let, let me follow. let me explain. Let me give you a little explanation of that, so you don't put uh, blame God. Okay, we're not automatons. We're not made to be cybots that in a spiritual realm, so we can be a little exactly. automatons for the Creator. We have to, if we're going to be eventually God-like, we have to have freedom of choice. We can actually, and you see, God's a gentleman. He doesn't tell us what we have to believe. In fact, if we want to just desire be annihilated, it's our choice. See, the only the creator of the universe is God. He's also the destroyer. It's not Satan. It's not the transdimensional beings from the star system, Alpha Draconis, or or the Chittahuri, or whatever the hell they call themselves in different parts of the world. It is we choose, and most of the time people choose out of the points of ignorance, or they get fake religion or fake politics. For example. Fake politics is on the left or right, fake religions, and every religion on earth, including transhumanism, Judaism, Christianity, whatever, evil is penetrated in every You're group right. On and, earth. You know, if we, if we didn't have free will, we'd just be like the rest of the animals. And because we're in the right. image of God, they can choose and decide. He's given us, uh, you know, a, right. a great deal of freedom. And so, you know, well, it's we ha- I'll tell you the reason why we have to have freedom. Or experience yeah. to make the right choices. I'll, t- I'll tell you why we have to have freedom, okay? And we talked about this with Ken Kleinman. He's, you know, he's very busy lately, so he's not back. But here, here's the basic thing. The human race, along with all the other created, you know, super beings of the past of the universe, we call them angels, and the word angel just means messenger, were the created beings they call the Elohim. We are actually part of the Elohim. It's actually stated even by Jesus. Didn't you also know that you are Elohim? He actually told us to the Jews that they're Elohim. In other words, they're gods. Did you know that you and I are like a little little god, like a son or daughter of the creator god? We're actually little gods. That's why we have freedom of choice. We are Elohim. It's not... Elohim isn't God like the Father. He's one. We are Elohim. We are, and we are, and He says, "You shall create them in your image." In other words, we're in the image of the Elohim, which is our pre-Adamic state in the spiritual realm. Now, what's happened is in our world, we are coming get into a culmination. This is the end of the secular age. This secular age is ending where demon rats, Democrats, have gone over the edge and want socialism, communism, and godless transhumanism. The Republicans want globalism, but their version, they want the Matrix. In fact, the Matrix isn't coming from maybe Beijing or Scotland or, or Johannesburg. It's coming from Colorado Springs and the U.S. government and the intel agencies, which are entirely occult. Every intel agency on the planet under Project Omega was conceived by the Thule Society of Nazi Germany. Uh, there's a miniseries on television that talks about, you know, an alternative reality where the Nazis didn't lose the war they won. Well, to be honest with you, the Nazis didn't lose the war, the Second World War. Because although the, a lot of the Nazis and Germans die, including death camps for the Russians, the Nazi intel agencies, including the space program and all the intel agencies that control the OSS and later the CIA and NSA, which are the central control of all of the intel agencies on the planet, are Nazi Germans, which are Thule occultists. Did you know that? Every single agency on Earth, whether it's MI5, MI6, Canadian Security Intelligence, Brazilian, GRU, and Russia, are druidic occultists. Did you know that? I want to tell you how much on 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 course we are. Does, does that does that make uh, sense? I, I, I just want to know if you're. I, I just want to know if you respond to that though, because before we let, go let, on, let, I, let, let me because, let me uh, tell you this. Yeah. It was uh, Jerry Voorhees, the man that Prescott Bush uh, kicked out of office, that wrote a book called uh, Beyond Victory. Um, I had a, a house person here for a short time. That right. book disappeared this morning. I was able to find it on Amazon under ten dollars, which is utterly amazing because it was written. Well, wait, wait, in the early what's it called? By Jerry Voorhees, it's called Beyond Victory. Let me pull it. Yes, up. Beyond Victory. He was the congressman from Orange County uh, that said, "No matter who wins the war, 
the cartelization of Europe is confirmed. And that's exactly what happened, because you had Prescott Bush supporting Hitler and supporting the Allies, and they didn't care. They wanted the chaos. They wanted the creation out of chaos. But Jerry Voorhees ended up... V-O-R-H-E-E-S, right? V-O-O-R-H-E-S from Orange County. And you'll go back and you'll see pictures of Prescott Bush adjusting Richard Nixon's hat as he uh, anoints him to be the substitute for Democratic Jerry Voorhees. Uh, wow. Voorhees uh, got pushed to the left. He was he was wise to the uh, Federal <clears throat> Reserve. He was pushing uh, credit unions and things like that, and he finally got tangled. It says, can, it says by the way, I, I went uh, I went in the, the Jerry Voorhees V O O R H I S. Yes. Uh, Beyond Victor says paperback is currently unavailable. Uh, On Amazon, I, I picked up one for under ten bucks, and I think they had a few others. Um, uh, well, you must have got one of the last ones. I can, you can go elsewhere too. You can go to uh, eBay and elsewhere. I'll find one. Anyway, I want you to continue because I want Voorhees. He probably kind of talked about these things, right? Well, again, it was <clears> Richard <throat> Nixon in 1948, together with Hubert Humphrey and all the rest of them, uh, voting. For a world government. I mean, it was a congressional resolution. So those people that think Nixon was hardcore or even, you know, uh, the guy got thrown into you know jail. At, uh, I can't think of his name right now. He used to be on Alex Jones a bunch. Um, you know, it was pro-Nixon. But, you know, there are people, both sides, all of us are drived into camps in which we're trained to, you know, and walk out there and punch like a, 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 a like a cockfight, like a bunch of chickens, because we have, you know, these differences. They come at us, and our only uh, ability to uh, respond is to respond in kind. But it's not the, the the response is not generated by us. It's generated generated by the manipulators that control both sides. And both sides, Voorhees, Ida Tarbell, who wrote, you know, the exposés of... And by the way, I, I did find it on... A, a lot I did of find it over on... Were forced, that ended up in the Communist Party had legitimate complaints, mm. but they force you into one group or another so that they control both sides. Right. I found it, by the way, in hardcover available. It's pre-owned. Twenty nine ninety nine over on eBay. By Jerry Voorhees, oh, V-O-R-H-I-S. Oh, Beyond Victory? That's terrific. I, you know, any researcher out there should have that. I mean, there's quotes in there. Um, unfortunately, I, you know, somebody got through my library, and it's... Uh, do you, do you know who, uh, who, what year was pr- printed off? This actually says hardcover. I believe, it, I believe it was printed in 44. I think it's probably written You're in You're absolutely 42. correct, 1944. I couldn't believe it. I thought, this guy's... Now, obviously, he was probably inside the secret orders now... People may not want to hear this because it often I get the, the the typical complaint I have from people, especially listen to say uh, Deborah Tavares who just mainly reads and doesn't want me to talk, but she's going to. Every one of my calls got to know I am going to insert comments which supports you. I am going to periodically pontificate. If you don't like that, don't listen. But you're going to hear more information that's going to cross corroborate with my brilliant guests like yourself and anybody. So I didn't know about this book. I've heard about it before, but I didn't really I haven't read it, but. People well, need to start well, understanding. Well, you consider when, when he wrote it, you know, Hitler was <laughs> really winning, 42. Well, you know, uh, he, yeah, he had let, conquered let, let, France, he had conquered Belgium. When, you when know, do you think Barbarossa Hitler died? Barbarossa was just started, uh, you, you know, and, and he <clears> called where? it. And exactly what he predicted, it ended up with the European Union, which is the goal of the conspiracy. It was the goal that was infused into Hitler. It was a goal that was infused to the Allies through the uh, the American Committee for a United Europe, which included the founders of the Council on Foreign Relations, the Dulles Brothers and other people, Colonel House and other people that uh, historians okay. would, uh, yeah. it would come to mind. Let me insert a comment here that I think will fit exactly with what you just said. People need to understand the actual creation of, and funding of Adolf Hitler was designed to create the superstate Europe, which was managed by the CFR, by the SPA, SAD, the Special Activity Division of the CIA, the United Nations under the British and Americans, and the Eighth Kingdom under the British. 
It's all by design. In fact, uh, Adolf Hitler died in 1986 in Chile, didn't he? Do you have difficulty taking supplements? Are you searching for a high-quality, complete nutritional drink that your whole family will love? Nutramedical's Life Support has arrived. All of your daily nutritional requirements in one quick, delicious drink. Dr. Bill Deagle's Life Support is a proprietary blend of vegan protein, activated vitamins, essential minerals, amino acids, probiotics, green tea, digestive enzymes, anti-inflammatories, cancer prevention, detoxification, and much more. Your body will high-five you for this one. Life Support is the best complete nutritious meal replacement on the market. Whether you are an elite athlete, have post-operative challenges, chronic illness, elderly, or a family that just wants a quick, delicious drink, try Dr. Bill Deagle's Life Support for optimized nutrition in one great tasting smoothie. Just add cold water, almond milk, fruit, or anything else you like. Nutramedical's Life Support. Try our great tasting chocolate or vanilla today. Call 888-212-8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Nutramedical.com for the whole family. Legacy Emergency Foods is the top recommendation from Dr. Bill Deagle for the lowest oxygen concentration, the largest entrees, the highest amount of protein, the most varied entrees as well, and the longest food storage life. Nothing like Legacy Emergency Foods, and if you place a regular monthly order, you get 20% off and free shipping. Do get emergency foods for your supply for preparation and get it from Legacy Foods. Contact Dr. Bill Deagle for the link at Nutramedical.com. Go to the Shop by Products link and drop down message at Nutramedical.com and then place your orders for regular emergency food for yourself and your family. Nothing like emergency food if the power goes out and you can't go to grocery stores or if there's an emergency or a national crisis. So Nutramedical.com, top recommendation, Legacy Foods. Nutramedical.com, go to the Shop by Products and drop down menu and stay well with Nutramedical every day of your life. Lumen Photon Therapy, infrared light, far and near infrared is extremely important for pain control, simulation of nitric oxide, improved perfusion, and stem cell activation and reduction of cytokines. Dr. Bill uses it for pain control, for regeneration techniques, for organ regeneration, and for stimulation of your stem cell activity. Uh, this amazing uh, lumen photon therapy this year will probably have an additional device with frequency therapy during the odd phase of the lights. To obtain a lumen photon machine, contact Dr. Bill at Nutramedical.com, 888 8871 He'll prescribe it with you, providing nutraceuticals to help with your regeneration, healing, and pain control. Nothing like the lumen photon therapy for uh, easy therapy for your eyes, your pain, your joints, regeneration of organs, detoxification of the body, Get a lumen photon machine from Dr. Bill Deagle, Nutramedical.com, 888-212-871. You stay well with Nutramedical. The Sonic Life Machine is one of the most amazing therapies that Dr. Bill provides. It is the best sine wave exercise machine on the planet, doing whole body vibration, opening up the muscle to reduce insulin resistance, improve perfusion, release stem cell therapies throughout the body, and epigenetically stimulate the body to release DNA activated. Uh, the epigenetic therapy with the uh, sine wave curve of frequencies given for atomic resonance but Linus Pauling for minerals and amino acids stimulates the production of messenger RNA to correct structural protein enzyme deficiency for almost every illness. There's nothing like the sine wave therapy for improving body healing for exercise but also the epigenetic treatments Dr. Bell can provide can help neutralize frequencies for disease states and illness. Get a Sonic Life machine through Dr. Bill Deagle at Nutramedical.com. Contact us at Nutramedical.com, 888-212-8871, or go to the website Nutramedical and give us a contact. Dr. Bill is available to help you get well with Nutramedical. Need a powerful ally to fight daily bugs and serious pathogens? Allison Med is the powerful universal pathogen killer's latest advance of German-sourced Allison, enzymatically stabilized to clear the body of bacteria, fungi, mycobacteria, and parasites. It penetrates body biofilms and is non-toxic to tissues. Pathogen resistance cannot develop for long-term body-optimized wellness. Clear stealth pathogens that promote autoimmune disease, cancer, and vascular inflammation and plaque and promote healing of tissues. Now pathogen-free. With 200 milligrams more power than prior Alamed, you can't get a more powerful ally to fight daily bugs and serious pathogens. Give your body what it needs. Allison Med. 
Order Dr. Bill Deagle's Nutridyne at 888-212-8871 or Nutramedical.com. That's 1-888-212-8871 or Nutramedical.com. And listen to the Nutramedical Report on the Genesis Radio Network with open lines every weekday. Nutramedical.com, bringing nutrition and medicine together. So, Pete, you asked on the break, why, why don't they take out Deagle? Well, there's, there's four reasons, basically. And the first reason is, number one, um, if you have high enough profile, you have allies that will not cross red lines. In other words, I have people inside the military, let's say SEALs or whoever, they'll do some things, like they'll kill some people if they're ordered, but they won't cross the red line to kill their mama, their brother, or go to their hometown. Number two, uh, they need to understand if they bring it, I'm going to bring it back in a level of violence with technology they can't even imagine. And number three, I have what's called spiritual warfare technology, radionic technology called a prayer wheel. That I can do things in the spiritual realm that most people, even wizards, don't understand. And the fourth thing is people, this is something that people need to start getting the, the grasp at. If you're not fearless and not afraid to die, or you're, you're fearless and not afraid to die, you're going to survive. You're likely to survive. And I learned this from the Delta Force and Special Up almost 30 years ago. That if you're fearful and unprepared, and you're not super trained and, and ready to, to engage and not be fearful of dying, you're more likely to survive. But if you're fearful and quivering and kind of unsure of your footing and that, hey, I could die, I could die, you're going to freaking die. So you have to be fearless and you have to have all these other skill sets, including the ability to fight legally. Pro se litigant, which is why my course, Pro se litigant course, how to win in court. I can go to the International Court of Justice, file pro se litigant actions. I'm going to do some on aspartame and splend in these other toxic foods. In the next few months, I'm going to be filing pro se litigant actions over that. And also in the climate control issue, where they just kind of proved about this hockey stick garbage because we had Mr. Mann actually pushing it. We've had experts on my show over the years. I was one of the charter founding members of Greenpeace 50 years ago and an oceanographer. I have creds. And guess what? If I get in the court of justice or I file legal actions, and people need to do a pro se, part of our biggest problem is the damn legal profession. The legal profession are all occultists, even if they don't admit it. The Bar Association is an occult organization in 57 nations, including even Russia and China, and nations that don't even speak English, Hispanic nations. The Bar Association means the British Authorized Registry. It's an occult, luciferic organization. People don't know that. Every court in the earth in the first and second world is a, an occultic organization on the template of the British Authorized Registry. Did you know that? Well, we could sure use a referral up here <clears throat> in Santa Cruz. We've got two uh, elected incumbent supervisors right. that have threatened both the property and the lives of uh, uh, the Grange that was uh, providing a hall for, well, for I, speakers Well, what I want people to, to do is take... I, want, I can't ha do everybody's legal action. I want them to kind of be inspired... If they call me, I'll tell them, get the course. We're going to have Dr. Fred Graves back on the program to do some segments and some videos. But if you just go to my hyperlink, which is at the bottom of my shop by products, you need to get that course. It's 250 You can even get a group of people together and each pay 25 bucks, so 10 people can do the course. And when you finish, you get a certificate that shows you know what the heck to do, whether it's file it in your county court, <clears throat> state court, federal court, international court of justice. And because you're a citizen, you can't be disbarred. You actually apply, when you file your legal actions, you have to apply like you're already appealing to a higher court, which drives the judges and the people involved nuts. Because, you see, the rules of evidence in court are, are shorter than the rules of baseball or any sport. And that well, you've, means, got a, I, you've got an angry <clears throat> guest today, and I'll tell you a couple reasons why. Um, we talked about a, a book that was uh, written by John Milkovich, and he wrote right. it about Robert Mueller as the right. errand boy of the New World Order. And right. he goes into a Whitey Bulger and Pan, uh, uh, Pan Am 103, BCCI, Ruby Ridge, right. 911, Anthrax, the surveillance state, all this stuff. Right. He was defeated in the recent election in Louisiana. The right. biggest contributors uh, were, again, uh, the, uh, <clears throat> the fifth column of the Republican Party. 
Right. And if I'm getting this wrong, uh, I was told uh, I was told that the uh, conservative Cajun uh, uh, caucus or whether whatever was one of the major contributors who were supposed to get right. back to me sometime today. But some right. of these so-called conservatives uh, consist of Irving Crystal, Council right. on Foreign Relations, CIA. Uh, he put up together uh, in Britain uh, a magazine called Encounter to support the Fabian Socialist Party. Uh, right. They also have William F. Buckley, Skull and Bones. 2025 to 2008 is one of right. their you know is one of their guys financial supporters they got Charles and David Koch and again the Heritage Foundation and right. Cato Foundation these are the people that are destroying you know our our republic and destroyed this one you know democratic state legislator that put out something that no Republican, conservative, you know, Fox News, anybody else that just skins Mueller alive showing his background and his deviousness. And I encourage right. people to buy that book. It's called Robert Mueller, Aaron Boy for the New World Order. John well, uh, Milkovich. Uh, let, let me give you a, let me, Milkovich, how would you spell it? M-I-L-K. Like milk. V-I-T-C-H. K-O. V-I-C-H. John Milton. V-I-C-H. V-I-C-H. Robert Mueller. Get that book. Support this no, guy. Let, let, um, I'm, I'm encouraging him to put it in a tabloid let, let me pull. Let me pull it, me pull it update, up. Robert Milkovich, update. right? What? Robert, M-I-L-K-O-V-I-C-H. Okay, now yep. let, let me raise an issue here that I want people, I want you to respond to. The, the, the Jack, you know, whatever that were actually in the presentation of the Star Witnesses yesterday, and I, I was impressed with Jordan. This guy was like an intellectual verbal minigun, bup, 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 asking tough questions to these morons, and they were stymied. And he asked them, was there anything that they did that indicated it was an impeachable offense? And both these morons, both Kent and Taylor, couldn't friggin' answer. What I find amazing is we got Adam Schiff trying to interrupt, well, the last 20, 30 seconds of the statement by Jordan, and it was obvious to me that these people have now literally put, so look, they got body bombs on the Democrats, and they let this moron shift who's actually mentally ill. Obviously, the guy is demonically possessed, and so is Hillary, so is Hillary Clinton, so is, uh, you know, Nancy Pelosi and all these morons like AOC. I call her one with the cortex. These people are suicidal because the average decent person, it doesn't matter what you're Whole previous party affiliation is Democrat, Republican, whatever, independent. You're going to look at this and you're going to say, "What?" Just like after, you know, uh, Russia Gate. I mean, this blew up in their face when they asked questions for Mueller. He didn't even know about all kinds of stuff that's supposed to be in his report. Well, when, when, when you come back from our, our next break, I'm going to tell you the second reason for my anger. Well, we got another and six it, minutes, it, so it go ahead. You got you got time. With, go ahead now. Jordan and his. Uh, uh, three or four offices, including his D.C. office, of how he is being isolated and prevented from getting access to data. And uh, I'll tell you, very deliberate, and it, this has happened within the last uh, 90 minutes, and the people need to know this. Right. But I'll wait till the break. So, so I no, got, well, we, we, got, we got time. We actually are going to have, uh, we have enough time here, actually, to uh, Okay. The let me go. <clears throat> we have another five minutes. Go ahead. Okay. Before we go over the break. As, as you know, I've got all kinds of stuff about Ed Buck, Ted Lieu, uh, Eric Swalwell with his uh, secret societies, all of this type of stuff. Uh, all the information on Leon Panetta giving actually you know, military and policy information to the enemy. None of this stuff has ever been bought up. I called their Washington, D.C. office and talked to Anthony, who's taking the calls. Right, and I, I gave him not not as loud and as emphatic as I'm doing now. I was right. <laughs> more reasonable. I'm kind of angry wow. now. Yeah, um, but why why be reasonable? You know, you're, you're, you're doing what I do. You're doing what you're doing what I do, Gary. You know what I call it? <clears throat> We're not education. And this is called shock education. We take four thousand volt intellectual paddles and not on their chest to give them a cardiac resuscitation. We put it on their temple to wake up their brain and their cortex. Because if people don't wake up to this, and we're talking about the left and the right, or just caught in the matrix of this stuff, 
For example, and I, I don't agree with the Jehovah's Witnesses that they don't want it. You shouldn't vote because either side are bad. We need to educate our politicians. That's why I'm working hard to get in touch with Trump because although Donald Trump does say 60% really good stuff, he's either led by idiots or he's confused himself or he operates the presidency like a game show. And the fourth contestant has an opinion he thinks he sort of agrees with, although he doesn't have any knowledge or understanding of it. And he goes ahead with it, whether it's putting dirty water into frack zones in Northern California that can cause earthquakes or giving genetically modified food or pushing with uh, Mick Mulvaney 5G network, which is toxic as hell to human biology and animals and insects. So we're going to end up with a, you know, a, a vile harvest that destroys crops and insects and, and people. Well, these guys are, yeah, each congressman, just like uh, the intelligence communities, they're, they're, they're cut off from the rest, you know, the beltway itself. I mean, right. it's just uh, constant uh, communication. I talked to the, you know, the so-called, you know, his name, first name is Anthony, and I went through it <laughs> emphatically, you know, giving, you know, some credentials. You know, I've won, you know, uh, contested primary for assembly and uh, state senate and Congress and been a lobbyist in Washington. I was a lobbyist in Washington in the 60s at 300 East Independence Street. I, you know, I could throw, uh, shoot an arrow and, and almost right. hit the steps of the Capitol building right. and, you know, go another block and hit the White House. I've been all right. around there. Right. Um, but this guy is supposed to be taking, you know, absorbing information. And I, I made it, you know, emphatic in all the information I know. And I said, can you give me back uh, my website address? He could not. Right. I mean, it was a total waste of my time. He's taking people on as if they are anybody and everybody from the, those complaining on one side or the <clears throat> other. He did not have the ability to distinguish vital information that Jim Jordan can use to cut. Jim Jordan is great because he's showing uh, that they are styrofoam attacks on Trump. But if he doesn't have the facts where you can go back and, and cut these uh, bastards that are lying at, uh, like hell at the knees, uh, Jim Jordan can only go so far. I called his Lima office. Nobody answered. I left a message. I called his Norwalk office. And it's disconnected. Can you believe Jim Jordan is disconnected? Has a disconnected office at this stage of <laughs> of, of the coup d'état? Right. I finally reached uh, Burka uh, Bukairis office, and right. there was a lady who was a good connect. She said, "Thank you very much." She said, "I'll look at that website myself <clears throat> or whatever." But how many people out there would? Just stop at this Anthony. This uh, he might right. as well be, uh, you know, uh, one of those uh, robotic answering things. He didn't pick up or even save, you know, uh, the email address or the website. And so right. this is the top guy. This is the best guy. And you and I know we've been talking about this for years. We got right. cutting information uh, that could destroy it. The Atlantic Council. The fact that the fellow, the contact between the Ukraine. And uh, Jim Jordan's office. Um, I encourage any people out there that have any access to anybody on the Intelligence Committee, including the right. Democrats. I can't get on the website uh, the so-called Republican or conservative organizations in those districts and able to, uh, to enable me to send them our website, news-expose.org. I ask your listeners to go to that and judge for themselves whether this is important enough information for Jim Jordan and the rest of the Intelligence Committee to get. And, uh, you know, my guess, you know, if, if they got synapses working, they would conclude this is important information um, to be used, you know, at will or where, you know, where appropriate. But uh, these guys are being cut off, even the people were cheering that are, you know, breaking up, like I said, they're, they're styrofoam swords. We need to go after the conspiracy, the enemy. And you and I have that, and we've been broadcasting that for several years. We got the best. What well, should understand here is that most of the people that are doing alternative radio or videos do not go as far as we do, do they? No, most of them analyze 
they they're they're not aggressive they don't go on the forward they don't go on the attack they don't go after or name the bastards that are you know, that are part of the conspiracy what they do is try to conclude that what they're well, doing they, they... Is bad. They also but want to. Yeah, we know they want to push you to one side or the other. In other words, they want to balkanize and tribalize you. you what I want to is detribalize America, so we understand what the issues are. Are you still looking for that one iodine that you can really trust? A medical doctor endorsed product that is backed by honest research and true integrative science. Then search no further. Go to Nutramedical.com for Dr. Bill Deagle's Nutriodine, proven time and time again to be the very best iodine available for you. Nutriodine is the only Tesla activated monatomic plasma iodine in the world. It optimizes mitochondrial function and generation of new mitochondria from totally neutral the venom from a desert recluse spider bite in Southern California to eliminating malaria parasites reported by medical missionaries in Central India. Dr. Bill's Nutriodine is simply the most powerful healing formula there is. Nutriodine clears the body of all known pathogens, restores it to an alkaline state, and even promotes stem cell regeneration. Order Dr. Bill's Nutriodine today at 888 212 8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Red Deer Velvet DR is an amazing new product with a patent to preserve 300 biomolecules and six hormones, same as fetal life, where you don't age at all. The state of fetal life allows the 300 biomolecules and six hormones produced by the placenta to be supportive of the regeneration uh, of tissues and organs with maximum apoptosis uh, changing the tissue and organ structure of a fetus. That's why if fetal surgery is performed, there is no scar. Taking uh, two to three capsules twice a day with oncomycin, myco-D2, uh, provides an amazing support for regeneration of any tissue and organ in the body and even advanced stem cell therapy support treatment. Do uh, get Nutramedical's Red Deer Velvet DR from Dr. Bill Deagle at Nutramedical.com, N-U-T-R-I-Medical.com, 888-212-8871. Stay well and stay young with Nutramedical. Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Deagle, MD, A-A-E-M, A-C-A-M, A-4-M, of Nutramedical.com and a consultant providing email advice free on advanced protocols for your optimized wellness and advanced technologies to heal and regenerate you. You can contact us at Nutramedical.com, that's N-U-T-R-I-Medical.com, or 888-212-8871. You get free email starter protocols of our top medical-grade nutraceuticals, initial testing, and recommendations for your own primary doctor to do, as well as recommendations to give you an idea of a consultation and a full protocol to try to help you regenerate your tissues, heal naturally without the use of toxic polypharmacy. I can send test kits to you as well anywhere in the world and provide you recommendations for referral of specialty clinics worldwide. So contact me, Dr. Bill Deagle, at Nutramedical.com. That's N-U-T-R-I-Medical.com or 888-212-8871. At Nutramedical.com, we have the most amazing drinks with the best both feel, highest quality bionutrient uh, exposure to your body to heal and regenerate, and the uh, most powerful persistence of nutrients to heal your body dramatically. We have Ageless, which makes you age less, which repairs your DNA, extends your telomeres, etc. We have Life Support, the detoxes phase 2 detox pathways, glucuronidation, sulfation, and methylation pathway support. We have glycemics that blocks the carbohydrate absorption, helps with diabetes or weight loss, and as well helps with people that are trying to build up muscle using things like our um, special formulas from Dr. Wolf called Mega Muscles Between Meals along with Sports Energy Light. We have the amazing Nutri Complete, the most complete red and green drink in the world with the best mouthfeel and flavor. You can often mix it too with Vitamin Mineral Mix, which is our fruit flavored mix power of vitamin minerals. Stay well with Nutramedical every day. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. Okay, we have uh, Gary. Gary got all excited. You are on a roll, Gary. I want you to continue. You were talking about some things on the break. You mentioned about Jim Jordan. I've got his book uh, actually coming. Believe it or not, it's going to be delivered in Kindle next June. It's called Promises Kept, How Trump uh, Conservatives w Keep Winning in Spite of It All. Uh, Jim Jordan was the kind of the primary guy who just recently put on the Intel Committee that actually tore the, I call, disemboweled these two called witnesses, Taylor and, and Kent. 
Um, it was unbelievably funny. The list of questions. This guy is like, whoa, man. You are like, he's firing uh, questions at him like a minigun. Bup, 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 bup. And you can tell this guy Taylor's an arrogant SOB. He couldn't answer them. He was like stymied. He was there sitting in his arrogant with this little drooly face like, oh, man. And I'm thinking, you guys are disgusting. Why is anybody, including the government, hiring you? I mean, it's honest, isn't it? It's weird, isn't it, these people? And they, they even use the term they're Republicans. No, they're not. They're Republic craps. They're full of it, aren't they? And people have to understand there's a lot of people even surrounding Trump. Nikki Haley just uh, fingered uh, Tillerson and, uh, and Kelly as being guys trying to attack Trump from the end. Tillerson said, no, no, I didn't try to attack. Look, I don't necessarily like Nikki Haley because I think she's made crazy statements over at the United Nations. But my God, if she's going to say these guys are targeting him, it doesn't surprise me. Look at the husband of the White House female representative, Donald Trump. This guy well, looks like a well, looks well, like some kind of care a cartoon character. If, if people care about a two-party system, uh, they need to support an opposition. Um, the opposition he ran against, uh, you know, after, after Paul, you know, Paul Ryan, who's been a globalist and connected with the Skull and Bones and uh, uh, etc. Uh, endorsed uh, Kevin McCarthy belongs to the Rockefeller Rip On Society. People out there, if you don't know about the Rip On Society, you're just right. spinning your wheels. It's like the mainstream Republicans. Anyway, there was a contest for minority leader, um, uh, and Kevin McCarthy got 159 votes, and Jordan, the guy we like, the guy we saw fighting, got 43 votes. Kevin McCarthy is part of Rockefeller's Rip On Society, even though he's playing the game now uh, because of his constituency. Right now, I can't get to these various congressmen's constituencies, the Republican Central Committees or uh, the various Republican, mm -hmm. Libertarian, conservative groups, uh, right. because of Wikipedia and the censorship. If they had the information uh, that Dr. Deagle and I have, they would be able to come out with iron tools and, and, instead of, you know, bamboo and sticks. Uh, right. We've got the information. We've got the knowledge. Never give a dime to the National uh, Republican Committee, which is working against Trump, even though they show you know, big pictures of him smiling together with his beautiful wife. Do not give them a dime. You well, I got, I got Wikipedia up right now. Uh, American, okay. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Jim Jordan. I hope this is the right, Jim Jordan. I have a feeling it's a different Jim Jordan. It talks uh, about, uh, uh, put a, Jim Jordan, American politician. You'll get it. Yeah. Um, uh, and I, I encourage people, you know, uh, to do that. None of these, you know, none of these guys are, of course, perfect. Um, uh, actually, uh, Nunes, who's really turned out great. Um, you know, kind of, you know, matriculated through the Republican oh Party. Oh, my God, look at this. Regular stuff. Now, he's a congressman from Florida, right? From yeah, Jordan? yeah, he's great. You know what it says? The page, Congressman Jim Jordan, Florida, does not exist. You can ask for it to be created. Do you know it doesn't exist? The one they list here is American politician retired, retrieved, born in 20, no, February 28, 2014. Oh, yeah, no, this is... Uh, uh, James Daniel Jordan, born February 17, 1964. Jordan is a founding member of the Freedom Caucus. Yeah, I know that. He I knows know what the him. hell's going on. This is a guy. This is a guy uh, you need to send the money to or the Freedom Caucus so they can give it to the, to the right guys. It was a Republican globalist that destroyed the man, the only man that put out the book exposing Robert Mueller, in right. which uh, Dr. Deagle and myself have promoted to you. And right. uh, that guy was defeated by a half a million dollars by the globalist Republicans, even though his book was the best supporting evidence uh, to help and defend Donald Trump. You can't give it to uh, yeah, the mechanism of the Republican Party. California's Republican Party is basically run uh, by Leon Panetta, who collaborated with a communist spy, for Christ's sake. There's right. like three or four Republicans that are worthwhile. I think um, one guy in Tahoe, uh, of course, Nunes, and a, a couple were, you know, uh, treading water in between. Daryl Issa actually was what, you know, one of the 
wealthiest congressman in the United States, and he was playing, you know, patty cake with uh, the Rockefeller guys because that's, you know, the you know the high class, the the very rich kind of stick together. It's not always a decision; they just kind of do their country club uh, crap. And uh, not all of these guys are bad, but it, uh, make sure you go to a Republican Central Committee, get the information out that we have on news-expose.org, and insist that any member of of your you know if if if, if any of your Republican Congress people belong to Main Street Republicans or the Ripon Society that they quit today, if they're going to be globalists, they should call themselves globalists. They're not moderate Republicans. They're not, you know, uh, mo- you know, any of this other type of stuff. They're working with a conspiracy for a North American Union, plain and simple. And right. if they don't do that, don't give them a goddamn dime, send it to the Freedom Caucus and, uh, like, like, we mentioned in this program, it was a Democratic state legislator that put out the goods and Robert Mueller that no other Republican, with you know, or, or uh, Rush Limbaugh or Hannity or anybody else uh, put out or promoted. I must say uh, uh, that the John Birch Society uh, had no aversion to making that book available. So I congratulate them for that. Uh, they're, you know... Uh, we all have our, you know, uh, pluses and minuses, but uh, that's certainly a plus uh, that you can overcome, you know, party politics and and look at the facts. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? <clears throat> now I want people to understand where we're going now, and this is what I see happening over the next year. <clears throat> it's Lisa. I'm not going to give timeline, you know, to total timelines or when the events are going to happen, but. A few markers I call signposts. So the first thing is, next October of 2020 is World ID. The following month, November, is the U.S. election. We have uh, the timeline that the, the Iran state, they're going to enrich uranium to weapons grade, and the Israelis have said they're going to bomb the Bashir reactor. We have uh, American abandonment of the Kurds who can't even have travel visas to get across to Bashar al-Assad of Syria. And we have Turkey, who's now managing the oil wells. I don't know why we actually are putting in American personnel and tanks and armored personnel carriers up to the oil well area. They used to be managed by the Kurds. <clears throat> They're being driven out of there. And, uh, you know, what are they protecting the oil for? Are they going to protect it so the Turks can get the damn oil? I don't understand this. This is like insane policy by Donald Trump. I don't know who's advising him, but they're a moron. And so is Trump, by the way. Now, if he gets our advice, he wouldn't do this stupid stuff. Uh, Russia's laughing their head off because they've got now taken over our air base. Turkey's taken over the oil fields in northern Syria, which, by the way, used to be given by Saddam Hussein to Syria in place of a, a transition of a corridor to go to the Euphrates River for the, uh, for the uh, Iraqis. And well, now we've got a situation where Israel's in grave danger, so they're now actually hitting uh, inside Gaza rocket attacks, which are very accurate rockets, not just uh, you know Scud type. They can hit inside Israel, and there's been Israelis hit. We've had 90% of them knocked up with Iron Dome, which, by the way, we pay for. We pay for the Israelis to research these new technologies. And the Israelis are actually going to bomb the hell out of the Bashar reactor, which is going to create a radiation cloud much worse than even Fukushima, which will cross Central Asia, cross over Indonesia and southern China, and then cross, of course, Japan, and eventually we're in the tailpipe of the damn thing you know, multiple times around the earth before it precipitates as rain and, and whatever. We have the banks have decided within the last week or so to cut off the funding so Mer- farmers in South America, they're on riots now, they can't prat crops for 2020. We have the repo market uh, ready to pop that they've expanded loans from 24 hours to 72 hours and now up to two weeks and the interest rates have gone up to 8 to 10% and they don't have the money to fund these repos, <clears throat> which keeps banks floating. Well, the other the other thing with the, you know geonational politics, you look at the Soviet Union, which should be the most natural ally of the United States. I mean, they got the Orthodox Church. They had the distortion. Their only distortion and perversion came from New York City and London with uh, you know Karl Marx and Trotsky. Uh, but they're looking at you know the communist Chinese. Uh, 
the Soviet Union is what a hundred. I think they lost thirty million people in their population just uh, oh. uh, just because. But you're looking at a hundred and eighty million people versus billions of people in Red China. They are not natural allies. Um, it's the right. Rothschild, uh, NATO, and European Union that wants to pick off like like crows, and the United States globalists want to pick off like crows uh, what's left of the Soviet Union, which is more nationalistic and has more culture than the uh, uh, imposed uh, Nazi and Soviet Union socialist systems. Uh, that were generated and copied at the University of Chicago by Marshall Field and, and Rockefeller, of whom Rockefeller, Nelson Rockefeller, founded the Ripon Society, which is damn, you know, 40 members of Republicans that are working against Trump and destroying uh, individuality in the Constitution of the United States. It's outrageous. Yeah, exactly. Well, what I see happening is I think all these converging things are in the near future, the next number of months or years. And there's several things I see coming. Number one, I see world economic chaos, famine. And whether it's 2020 or 2024, I see the demon rats or the rhino Republicans taking over the government. I don't see the one emerging that's going to replace Trump in 2024 because I think Trump's going to get reelected if he doesn't have a serious health crisis from the being impeached by the Diet Coke in his right hand. He's not going to be impeached by Pelosi. He's going to be impeached by the Diet Coke he's drinking. He's the fattest well, president. Well, this, this is like all the arms of right? Julius Caesar at Brute. <laughs> at Brute, you right. know. A, yeah, a, a Brute, yeah, yeah, exactly. But the Brute part is that his diet and his stress levels, and the man only sleeps for three or four hours a night sleep, but that's okay if you're getting good nutrients. And I know one of my anti aging colleagues is actually his doctor. But if they're permitting him to drink diet drinks all the time, which converts to aspartame, Splenda, Adventame, it converts to diketopiprazine, formaldehyde, methyl alcohol, and he's working these hours and traveling all over the country, and he's getting so stressed because he's putting up with us. See, if I was president or advising him, I would immediately delicense all these media. I would jail people like Adam Schiff and these other people like Nancy Pelosi. Soros. They wouldn't be involved. Hell, get rid of Soros. They, what the hell they would immediately be taken away as a coup. They'd be gone. They'd be on in orange jumpsuits. They wouldn't well, have Congress should end dual well. citizenship today. I mean, when John F. Kennedy ran for office, he made it real clear. He wasn't, you know, influenced or taking orders from the Vatican. And this should be right. true of the Zionists. It should be true of, you know, the, the uh, uh, Episcopalians from England. Uh, you know, with all their ties to their national the countries, I don't mind their adopting their culture, but they should not be a dual citizen. No dual citizens for America. You either believe in the Constitution, and that's your first uh, loyalty, or you don't get to vote. Screw you. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and the worst is uh, dual citizenship between here and Israel. Now, the same thing, by the way, goes in Russia. Most people don't realize that up to half of the citizens of Israel are actually co citizens of Russia. Did you know that? Yeah. No. Yeah. You look. You, you look at the. You know. The, the racial movements and all that other type of stuff. Yeah. Well, it's not just race. The problem is they're coming in there. They're dual citizens, of, and and a good a quarter of the citizenry of Israel is American. They're dual American Israeli citizens. And there is and no they, American that's predictive because of their origin, their religion, or culture. Every yeah. person out there has their own choice to be American, understand the Constitution, exactly. and accept the freest country they have ever had access. to. Yeah, well, that freedom could disappear in a vapor cloud if things continue going the way they're going. Thank you, uh, Gary. We need to do some video perhaps this weekend. Back in a moment. Thanks, Doc. Take guy. care. Have a good weekend. Greg Ford is up. Our intel agent. we got lots to talk about. Jack Ryan, Series 2, Season 2, with nukes in Venezuela and much, much more. The deaths of Americans in northern Mexico. <laughs>